In the land of the five rivers, a slow mist rises from a golden stream. This image of beauty, however, is only a cruel trick of the light. This is no golden stream. It is a sluggish drain called Buddha Nala, a festering mass of cow dung seething and fuming through a vast wasteland, a sea of brown as far as the eye can see. At one time in Hebewal, the animal waste was causing disease and misery to man and animal. There was no other place to throw it, so it was dumped along the Buddha Nala, releasing a deadly combination of greenhouse gases in the air. Nitrous oxide and methane that heated up the atmosphere several times more than carbon dioxide. The fetid waste of the dairies polluted even the Sutlej, one of the five revered rivers of the Punjab. The local people began to wonder if there was any escape from this overpowering waste that was threatening to consume all. A possibility of change emerged and Paramjeet Singh, a 25-year-old worker, is part of it. He belongs to a team that collects the cattle dung from the dairy and takes it to the power plant. It's a change for the better, for Paramjeet and for Hebelon. This beacon of change is the Punjab Energy Development Agency's cattle dung-based biomethanation plant. Standing tall amidst the hundreds of dairies, this plant is one of the 16 demonstration sub-projects, part of the UNDP Jeff's high-rate biomethanation project, supported by the Indian Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. We have the technology, BIMA technology, biogas induced mixing arrangement system technology provided by Entech Austria. The cattle dung uh, is fed into the digesters uh, where the biomethanation takes place. We get uh, biogas, uh, biogas is again fed into GE and Becker internal combustion engine whereby electricity is generated. The plant has the capacity to process 250 tons of cattle dung per day, turning it into electricity and organic manure. This has effected a complete turnaround transforming a liability into a resource. Given the Best Green Power Plant Award at the 2007 Asian Power Awards, the success of this plant is directly linked to its close partnership with the local community. There is a MOU signed between the dairy owners, PIDA and corporation. So in that, the people, they are giving the dung to on the plant on a FRA basis at the rate of 60. So there are two ways of source of income. One, the pupils are taking, the pupils are giving dung to the labors and labor they are taking to the plant. So both are earning money on the basis of dung from the project. By ensuring that the project's immediate benefits go to the local community, PIDA managed to secure their commitment and cooperation. No wonder that Paramjeet, one of the almost 200 workers who form the supply chain between the dairies and the plant, is one of the project's most enthusiastic supporters. हमें एक तो गोबर रखने का जगह नहीं था। गोबर डायरी में बहुत ज़्यादा होने के वजह से भैंस भैंस बीमार हो जाता था। पहले प्लाट नहीं रहने से गोबर हमें बाहर बाहर रखना पड़ता था। जैसे कभी नाला किनारे हो गया, कभी रोड कात हो गया, तो ये सब का मुझे मुश्किलें पड़ता था। फिर कंपनी खुल गया, फायदा हो � Paramjit collects the waste from Gurnam Singh Sidhu's dairy, one of the biggest in Hebewal. As the source for the plant's supply of organic waste, the dairies are critical to the day-to-day -day operation of the plant and their support has been the key to its success. They've also been the biggest beneficiaries. plant was the first time we had to get rid of the plant. We had to get rid of the plant and we had to get rid of the plant. एक तेज़ नाला आसे पासे बीमारियां फैल दिया सी तो जब बुढ़े नाले जा पानी ख़राब हो दासी और ये नाला प्लांट लगने दे नाला होना मतलब कि सानू ये सुलता कि साड़ा गोबर तेनो टाइम ही प्लांट वाले उठा के ले जाने ने और सानू मोटर काट के लाऊंगी अपने दिया और साड़े प्लांट प्लांट आने की सफाई रहन दिया 
The benefits do not end here. The one megawatt plant produces over 18,000 kilowatt hours of electrical energy daily and also transforms the processed dung into about 50 tons of organic manure. This low cost, nutrient rich manure is helping Heberwald's farmers make the switch from chemical fertilizers, allowing them to improve both the quality and the quantity of their yield. मैं जब से इस प्लांट से खाद ले रहा हूं मेरे को बहुत फायदा हो रहा है जिस दिन से ये मैंने खाद डालना शुरू किया अपने खेतों में बहुत पैदावार हो रही है हम बहुत खुशहाल हैं जिस दिन से ये प्लांट बना है पेटर्स हेबरवाल प्लांट द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन इंडिया हैज नॉट ओनली डेमोंस्ट्रेटेड द वायबिलिटी ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी इन द इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट बट आल्सो इट्स प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इन द पावर डेफिसिट स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब इट्स सक्सेस हैज बीन इमीडिएटली नोटिस्ड the state government has already begun an upgradation of the plant's production capacity to 10 megawatts and new sites have been identified across the state for similar plants. Really this project is very enthusiasm, it creates enthusiasm among the peoples. They have come forward, they want to install their own projects. So we have more than 12 or 15 sites at the moment. One is Amritsar, Jalandhar, Gurdaspur, the surrounding district, they have come forward. Why? Because they have seen the profitability of this project, people are coming forward, they want to install their own project. As the stretch of ground beside the Buddha Nala indicates, there is still a lot to be done in Hebawal. But Jeff's support for Pedder's plant has ensured that even this bleak landscape can now be reimagined as brown power. The project has reduced an estimated 33,000 tons of CO2 emissions and provided a model that is already being replicated. What it has also left behind is a cleaner and happier place, happier people and a happier river.